Hello everyone. I am going to share a success story of my NICU. Here you can see in first one hour of the life, newborn is having all the signs of respiratory distress, having the tachypnea, subcostal retraction, intercostal retraction. You can hear the grunting sound is audible with the ear, and at the time of admission also having the sinuses. Ella Nija flaring is also present. But because of the mask of the CPAP, you cannot see the LR nasal flaring in this video. So we have to calculate the Silverman-Anderson score. I have already uploaded a video on Silverman-Anderson score. In brief, again I am going to tell you what are the score of this patient. So in upper chest retraction, you can see the leg on inspiration when you will. Closely observe the video. Lower chest retractions are the marked, and also you can see the gyphoid retractions are also marked. And also, child is having the elanegi flaring, and grunting sound is audible with the neck tear. So the scores are nine. It indicates that patient is having the severe respiratory distress. Now the radiologically also in this X-ray you can see the child is having bilateral white lung fields, or we can say white out lung appearance. It is characteristically seen in severe RDS. So the clinical diagnosis and radiological diagnosis for this newborn is severe respiratory distress syndrome. So we have kept the baby. In radiant warmer to maintain the body temperature between 36.5 to 37. CPAP started immediately at the time of birth to maintain the SpO2 between 92 to 95 percent. Maintenance IV fluid was also started with the maintaining dose of the calcium gluconate. Surfactant was also given by the insure technique: intubate, surfactant, and then extubate, then kept on CPAP. Dose of Cerventa 100 mg per kg 4 ml per kg intratracheally given. Injection caffeine was also started and first line antibiotics were also started. Now this is the video of day three of the life. So on third day of life. Newborn is having synchronized respiration. No retractions was there. No LR nasal flaring. No grunting sound. So its score was zero. It indicate now we can wean the patient from CPAP. So we kept the newborn after the third day of life on free flow oxygen on nasal prong. So in this image you can see the baby is on nasal prong. And mother is giving the KMC care, and with KMC care, cap, mitten, and socks should be wear. And the position of KMC, you can see frog-like position. You can see the hip and the knee joints are flexed, and also the arms are flexed. And baby is in touch with the mother chest between both the breasts, and the Face of the baby should be turned toward the one side, and baby should be covered after that with the any warm cloth. So this is the KMC with the nasal prong started on the fourth day of life, and this is the video of tenth day of life. And here you can see baby is playful, active, and taking the feed. On fourth day of life, we have started the tube feed also with the nasal prong, and then slowly tube feed was stepped up. And by seventh day of life, baby was accepting the katori spoon feed also. So gradually, we have stepped up the tube feed and shifted on the katori spoon feed. So this is the video of tenth day. And on tenth day, you can see mother is. Continually giving the KMC care. Even at the time of discharge, we have advised to continue the KMC care at the home. So this is in brief about the RDS and KMC. Thank you so much.